ran it weighing up to 80 tons from the Osmond Quarry over a thousand kilometers away. Hey, but they probably just used ropes and sleds, right? Wrong. So this is the line you drew to show the distance between the Aswan Quarry and the Giza Plateau where the Great Pyramid is. Now there's a little problem with your method. You see the squiggly line that you hastily drew that red line on top of? That would be the Nile River. Now what could transport materials from one location to another on a river? The answer would be a ship, and this is a model of a ship based on a relief found at the temple of Egyptian Queen Hatshepsut. The relief depicts a large wooden barge carrying two of Queen Hatshepsut's obelisks, which weighed about 340 tons each, bringing the total weight to 680 tons. Now like you said, there are a small number of heavy granite stones in the Great Pyramid, the heaviest of which are 80 tons each, much lighter than the obelisks that Queen Hatshepsut transported on the Nile. Now while Queen Hatshepsut and her obelisks did come after the time of King Khufu and the Great Pyramid, we do know that the Egyptians at the time of King Khufu did have advanced boatmaking technology, as we found a fully intact 140 42 foot long ship buried right next to the Great Pyramid from the time of King Khufu. And like you said, that's why it's important to use that brain of yours and make your own conclusions.